Hey, hey, Ugg fam, and welcome back to Urban Girl Gardening and Lifestyle. We are doing a quick check on the mini greenhouse. You guys were with me when I sowed some seeds. So let's start here with the Han Sai Tai. Now, this picture is actually from my full garden, and I really enjoyed Han Sai Tai, so I'm glad that it is growing. And I have quite a few seedlings there, so... I will be growing this probably in my green stock. Now the purple bok choy, mm, this picture, I grew this in ground. This is from my fall garden as well. And I really enjoyed the purple bok choy. This, I don't know why it says Swedish spinach. It should say Swiss because Jermaine is from Switzerland. <laughs> the Swiss garden vlog, she sent it to me. But anyway, the Kamatsuna, it is coming up. That is a Japanese like spinach mustard green so I'm excited about that one the tatsoi I was looking for a picture of the tatsoi from my garden I could not find it um, I did grow tatsoi the only pictures that I found were when the tatsoi was already um, going to seed anywho the nasturtiums they aren't up yet it's still kind of cool here in upstate New York so I'm not surprised but you can see there something is trying to happen so the seeds are there they're just waiting for mother nature to tell them like come on it's safe out <laughs> you can break out of this shell anywho the California poppy I'm very excited to have germination I have germination in several kinds of poppies um, this year so it's gonna be nice to have poppies in my garden and next we have the black bachelor button I grow bachelor buttons, but the black variety is new to me. So I'm excited about that. And I do have a video on the benefits of bachelor buttons. It is an edible flower. Um, let's see. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the next shelf and see what's going on there. Let's start with the copper red straw flower. I did not grow these from seed last season. I think I tried and I failed, but it looks like I got at least two this year. So listen, two points for me. Now we have the Helichrysum. I hope I said it right, but I'm excited about this one as well. That's another um, medicinal flower or herb that I'm super happy to have growing in my garden this year. Shasta daisies. I've never grown daisies from seed before, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm glad those came up. Yeah, I'm I'm seriously a flower child. Let's see. Um, Celosia plume. Now these I usually buy from the big box stores. They're very beautiful and very drought, like drought tolerant. They they do all right with a little neglect. So I'm hoping I get some of those. The echinacea or cone flower, as most people like to call it, it has not come up. The seeds are in there though. They're in there. We'll see what happens. But I also have bulbs, so. Either way, I'm going to get me some cone flower. Now, these Shirley double poppies, ooh, first year, first go around for these, and I am so excited. See how beautiful those are, and look how many plants I have. I'm going to be poppied out. Let's see, what do we have here? It looks like nothing. Oh, salvia. I actually grew blue salvia last season in my green stalk from a start, so if that is an actual salvia plant, and it's going to be red like that. I'm excited about that one. White bachelor button. Like I said, I've grown bachelor buttons before, but never the white or the black. So it's going to be nice to have those in the garden. So that's it for the second shelf and the first shelf. Let's go down to the drought shelf. <laughs> so nothing's really going on in these. I think this was the aster, yeah, apricot aster. I hope they come up. It's still cool, so it may just be waiting for the right temps. Um, hopefully it comes up soon. Rocket lock spore. Oh, I would love to have these beautiful flowers in my garden. We shall see. We shall see. Coreopsis plains. Look at this, y'all. Oh, so beautiful. I did see some little seedlings in there, but I'm not sure if that is for that plant. But we'll have to wait and see, right? And balloon flower. The balloon flower was the last flower to um, germinate out of all the flowers last season. So I'm not really stressing this one. We will see what happens. It'll get here when it gets here, I guess. And that's it, y'all, real quick. I just wanna show you guys what was going on in the mini greenhouse. You guys sowed those seeds with me. 
And then I noticed real quick that I did try to sew um, copper straw flower before because the blue tags from last season are still on the pots. And then the balloon flower, I just thought that was really funny. Anyway, learn with me, grow with me. I love y'all for real. Bye.